I'll be honest, this is the first thing I've done all day. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, well, first thing I've done, if you don't count Netflix, which uh, I don't know where you guys stand on that, but me personally, I'm, I'm done with Netflix. And I don't mean I'm bored with it. I mean, I'm almost done <laughs> watching everything that has ever been made. You know, hats off to them, they keep adding stuff, but I got a lot of time. Uh, yeah. One thing I've learned from watching all of Netflix is uh, you start to appreciate genres of film that you thought you hated. Like, uh, for instance, I was never a fan of 80s cop movies. I always thought they were cheesy and stuff. Until I saw all of them. <laughs> now I get it. Uh, my favorite scene in any 80s cop movie, and this is in every single one of them, uh, it's a scene where there's a drug bust, and then some tough, play-by-his-own-rules detective comes over, rips open the bag of drugs, dips a pinky in, tastes it, <laughs> and then goes, yep, pure uncut cocaine. <laughs> oh, classic scene, I love it. I just wish they would show that same cop five minutes later. <laughs> when he's like, hey guys, 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 listen up, guys. We need to get some more cocaine dealers. <laughs> now. <So. laughs> yeah. I've also been watching a lot of serial killer documentaries lately. Um, I'm not a weirdo or anything. I don't admire what they do. But I am impressed by how much they get done. <laughs> Very productive people. Uh, I was watching one the other night on the Zodiac Killer. He's one of my faves. And uh, at one point in the documentary, they say they thought they found two victims that were the work of the Zodiac, but they turned out to be the work of a copycat killer. And then they just kind of move on. <laughs> that is very alarming to me. You know, we have this dismissive attitude towards copycat killers like they're a cover band or something. <laughs> <laughs> the police are not very concerned, really. They're just like, ah, don't pay him no mind. He's a wannabe. I mean, yes, he's really killing people, but he's so unoriginal about it, you know? I mean, murder, that's messed up, but plagiarism, what a psychopath. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a real-life psychopath about a month ago. Um, I was on a flight, completely overbooked flight, packed with people. I had a window seat, this guy in front of me, also a window seat, this guy farts audibly. I mean, people are looking at him, and he's just looking around like an idiot. And, uh, after a while, it starts to smell, which inevitably it will, it's from inside your body, right? So after it starts to smell, guy didn't know what to do. So then he just uh, slides the window visor up. <laughs> Smart thinking. Basically, I was behind the grossest moron ever. <laughs> Who thinks it's totally cool to just rip one on a crowded flight, not do anything about it, and be like, oh my bad, let me shed a little light on that. <laughs> it's okay, I heated it up for the rest of the plane. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Some good things are happening for me though, I'm not just getting farted on. Uh, my girlfriend and I just celebrated a three year anniversary by breaking up. Um, <laughs> Sorry, that's misleading, we did break up. Uh, but don't feel bad for me, it really was for the best. You know, like, we just were never on the same page, really. Like a uh, prime example, a few months back, I was hanging out at a friend's house, and this friend of mine, he was going through a breakup at the time, and my girlfriend called me to see where I was at. I told her, and she goes, oh, you're at Jeff's place? Do me a favor, give him a hug for me. And I was like, uh, yeah, sure, I'll tell him you said hello, I guess. I don't... <laughs> I don't have anything against hugging, but you know, I don't ask other people to do it for me. You know, I don't contract that out to people. I wouldn't do that to my friends. You know, I'd be like, hey, Steve, what's up? What are you doing? Oh man, you're at Jeff's place? <sighs> do me a favor, bro. <laughs> Embrace him. <laughs> but do it for me, all right? Use your body as my body and convey my emotions for me. That's, that's weird. Uh, <laughs> Basically, my girlfriend was asking me to be a part of the worst threesome possible, which, uh, bad threesome for me, two guys, one girl. Worst threesome, two guys, one girl who's there in spirit. Uh, guys, that's my time. Hey, thanks for watching. 
please subscribe to my YouTube channel so they will stop making me shoot these videos. Please.